Hello everyone! Today, we will study about MAPE Art 6. This is quarter 3 using the learner's packet or lip. Lesson 6 and 7. Week 6 and 7. Basic composition skills in photography. If you like my content in MAPE Art 6, please consider to subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, and write your comments down below. Thank you! With all the advancements in today's digital cameras, both beginners and professional photographers can pretty much enjoy fully automatic settings. However, the key to achieve great images will always be the one behind the camera, and that is you. The main purpose of composition is to influence viewing behavior. This requires understanding the principles of composition in photography and knowing how to lend your viewer's eyes to your subject. The subject of a photo is the main character or object around the image is created. The subject can be a person or group of people an animal, or the surrounding area. It can be a building that is unique or a landscape. It can also be a farmer working on a rice field. It can be a young boy playing with his pet. Subject should tell a story or send a message to be interesting. Learning task number one. The following are pictures captured by the teacher using her mobile phone. Try to analyze each image and answer the questions below. Do this in your notebook. We have image one, image two, and image three. Question 1. Which among the three images caught your attention? Why? Number 2. Can you name the subject shown in each picture? Enumerate them. Number 3. What principles of art is visible in each picture? If any. Here are the possible answers. Number 1. Among the three images, image 3 caught my attention because of the tourist having a great time in Boracay Beach. Number 2. The subject in image 1 is a female with her dog. The subject in image 2 is a girl bathing in a resort. The subject in image 3 is a tourist lying in the beach of Boracay. Number three, the principle of art that is visible in each image is empathy. Learning task number two, read and understand. Here are the guidelines that you can use to improve the overall composition of your images. Number one, simplification. The easiest way to have a clear and strong composition is to keep things simple. Instead of having too much going on in the frame, keep the focus on a single subject. Number two, Rule of third. This basic composition technique is based on the idea that placing your subject off center yields a strong and more natural looking composition. Following this also serves as the perfect opportunity to shoot your subject from different angles. Number three, framing. It involves using or adding frames, elements to emphasize 
and lead the viewer's eyes towards your subject or to simplify add interest to your image. Number four, leading lines and shapes, roads, bridges, and even hallways are great for showing linear perspective. They have lines that become narrow standards, the far end, potentially leading the eyes to where your main subject may be. Number five, contrast. This can be used to make your subject stand out. It is simply surrounding the subject and fill the frame with lighter color. Do not worry about the rules for now. Experimenting is essential in photography when you are starting. Are you ready to take pictures? For you to start this activity, ask permission from any members of your family in borrowing their mobile phones or cell phones. Remember, photo essay is intended to tell a story or evoke emotion from the viewer through a series of photographs. They allow you to be more creative and fully explore an idea. Day in Life Photo Essay One of the examples of photo essay. In this example, your narrative focuses on a specific subject for an entire day. A great way to understand what people get up into their day-to-day -day is to follow them and photograph as they go. Learning task number three, photo essay. Here are the steps to follow. Number one, decide what your essay will be all about. Come up with themes and make sure that you have a story to tell. You can try this day in live photo. Number two, with the help of any members of the family, brainstorm on ideas of photo composition. Write down your thoughts and together choose the best idea. Number three, execute your ideas and start taking photos. Number four, make sure that your photos connect with one another and flow from one picture to the next. Prepare at least four pictures for this activity. Number five, start doing your caption or text for the series of pictures you took. Number six, give a title to your photo essay. My photo essay. The title is River Lover. Learning task number four, photo essay. Answer the following questions and write it on your notebook. Question number one, what is the title of your photo essay? Does your title suit to the photos you took? Number two, are you happy with the turnout of your photograph? What things did you discover? Three, what important values have you learned in doing the activity? Four, do you agree that it's possible to take good photos with a phone camera? Explain your answer. Here are the possible answers. Number one, the title of the photo essay is River Love. The title shows the photos because the river is the setting and the subject love being in the river. Number two, I'm happy about the results of the images. I discovered that having a nice setting will result to great photo. Number three, I learned that creativity is important in capturing great images. Number four, I agree that using an ordinary phone camera can produce great images by having a great place, enough light, and interesting subjects. Learning task 
number five, ask your parents, guardian, elder sibling to grade your photo essay based on the rubric below. Do this in your notebook. Rubric for photo essay. Here are the indicators. Number one, the photo essay follows a specific theme. Number two, the images chosen to conform with the theme. Number three, the photo essay tells a story that is evident and easily understood by the audience. Number four, the caption or text has a clarity of expression. Number five, apply the color, lighting, focus, and composition to the photo. Here are the possible rubric tricks. For your reflection, write your personal insights about the lesson in your notebook using the prompt below. I understand that blank. I realize that blank. And I need to learn more about blank. Great job, everyone. It's important.